Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. It's L here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who always do so. And if you're here, go ahead. If you're always finding yourself coming back, go ahead and like, uh, subscribe to the channel. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But anyhow, let's get into this Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you. All right. So in the pre-shuffle, what I got was um, the golden mirror. You see that? Heart with a key and the phoenix. So it looks like for some of you, uh, you've done the work, you've done the self-healing work, and you're about to go into union because you also have, um, at the bottom of the deck, you have kisses, unconditional love, falling in love, you know, affection, the giving and the receiving of love. Some of you are just really making room or space for love in your life. You're clearing out maybe a narcissistic, one-sided relationship uh, where someone was or is love bombing you. Now, look. You know where you are in your life. You know where you are on this spectrum. Everybody's going to be at a different, you know, different pace, different uh, time frame. Everyone is not about to find the one or meeting the one because it says heart with the key. It says welcoming new love, meeting the one, getting together, something perfect uh, or being made perfect, right? Um, perfected. You know where you are. You know if you just got out of a situation last week. You're really not over it. You're hoping that they come back. You do it the back and forth. This might not be for you. You might be in that one-sided, um, self-absorbed, narcissistic, love-bombing type of situation. And maybe eventually you'll catch up. Now, if you know that you aren't in any type of dramatic situation uh, and that you've been doing some self-healing work, you've set yourself apart, blah, 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 X, Y, Z, this could be for you, okay? Um... Let's see. The universe is not bringing you the one when you already got the two, the three, the four, the five. Stop it. Please stop playing games with yourself firstly and with the universe secondly. Okay? Um, just do clear. Clear. Pray for healing. Pray that you clear. Pray that, pray that you get over narcissistic one-sided relationships and you, you know that you grow from it. Right? So that you can come into union with the person you're supposed to be in union with. All right, let's see what's going on here. What's the golden mirror? Because I'm feeling like I'm talking to two sets of Aquarius. Uh, of course, we all want to get the one. But if we just had the two last night, probably not going to get the one today. I don't know. I could be wrong. Prove me wrong. All right, so we've got the page of pentacles at the bottom of, or flying out of the deck. 
Six of Swords, the Magician, and the Two of Cups. So this looks like a back and forth relationship for some of you. Okay, you believe the lies, you believe, um, of, of course, the narcissistic uh, type of energy, the one-sided relationship. Um, maybe with someone who's not even your boyfriend or girlfriend. Someone who just keeps coming with the theatrics. Because the magician is using all that he has to, you know, maneuver, to manipulate, right? And it, it's always coming back together and healing the severed connection. So it's like an off, with, off again, off on type of relationship. And somebody may even have so many different people uh, in their life. They need to choose from. They need to choose who they want to be in a relationship with. The Six of Swords says... The best possible option is just to move away from this. There's no fixing it. Yeah, some of you are in like some hidden secret relationship and you just, some of you just unwilling to sacrifice it. Let it go. It hurts too much. You don't want to feel the burn. What do we have for a heart with a key? What do we have for a heart with a key? What do we have for a heart with a key? Strength card, King of Pentacles, okay. So you definitely could be meeting the one. You could be going out on dates where it says get out there. This talks about dating, courting, um, movies, theater, all of that. Um, the King of Pentacles, somebody's really um, responsible. Maybe not so much romantic, but definitely practical, diplomatic, responsible, um, mathematical. Uh, a good provider with the heart with the key. It says be open to this. This this person might be different from your usual type with the strength card and the king of pentacles. Um, this person has like a calm demeanor about themselves. And it also says stay calm also. What, why? Heart with the key and strength card, the king of pentacles. Something about tame. Tame your emotions. With the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant. It's not going to be like it used to be. Um, if you've always got into relationships where it was dramatic and it, it always was failure and collapse and it was a volatile situation, it says no more. The Hierophant here, you learn, and also the universe is bringing you, bringing two very different people together so that you can, you know, um, have a traditional, healthy uh, relationship something structured with the Hierophant also. It's like, I don't know if this could even be somebody from your past. Because there's a, like an energy where you have to tame your emotions. And it's an energy where you, where with the Hierophant, it's like bringing two opposing sides together. Who is, is this someone from the Aquarius past? Um, Temperance card, maybe, yes. This reduces to a five, too. So there were like circumstances between the two of you that you, it was like, this could even be your twin flame, uh, yin yang, uh, feminine, masculine energy. Uh, moderation, healthy relationship, healthy, wealthy marriage relationship. This could definitely be with someone from your past, the king. Of cups is related to the temperance card. It could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, it could be a Sagittarius. I don't know. There was like a break between you and someone else. And the universe was like fixing, perfecting the both of you while you were not together. What is this about? Now you can come back together. Harmony is what I'm hearing. Um, somebody knows how to go through the tough times or govern themselves accordingly their emotions there's no outburst it's like a calm quiet uh control somebody was just erratic sporadic chaotic um unhealed wow with the queen of pentacles can you queen of so this is so we know that the pentacles is the end suit it's where everybody wants to be i want to be at the pentacles so it looks like this relationship is going to be made real for some of you, especially with somebody from your past or someone that you know, or someone that you know in passing. But this looks like an energy where 
you knew this person, you were in a relationship with this person. This person always had your heart or you had theirs or it was mutual, but there was not a getting along. There was not a coming together. There was a push, there was a pull, there's a tug of war, there's a power struggle. There was no negotiation, no compromise. It was because either you or the other person didn't know yourself, therefore you couldn't give yourself because you didn't know yourself. You didn't know what you would be giving. You didn't know how to give, you didn't know how to love. It's like you, had to go and learn love for yourself. You also had to learn how to be vibrate on the frequency of love, abundance, and be open. Because the Queen of Pentacles is the embodiment of the uh, Empress. The Empress is open. She's open to love. Maybe you weren't open. Maybe you're saying you were open, but your emotions, your your, your thoughts, your feelings, your everything about you says otherwise. So it looks like you and somebody else had to separate to come back together. The Phoenix. The, okay, the phoenix. The plant beating me down. Okay. Okay, so this is in reverse. The ace of wands in reverse with the phoenix rising growth, change mind, new phase, rekindling, renewal, and transformation with the page of cups, queen of cups for some of you not listening to your intuition. Okay, and you're not you're not listening to your intuition. Some of you are way too emotional. There's been no emotional uh, growth here. So there is no coming back together. There is no challenge or up for the challenge or movement or change. So some not listening to their intuition and then not taking action. Oh, this is no healing. Or some of you need to heal with the four swords. Prepare for the future. Heal. Some relationship is very, is testy. It's fragile. You know, it's like last ditch effort to make this right. This could fall apart. There could be time apart from your person because some of you know something. There's no energy between you and someone else. This could even be telling the backstory for some of you. Like, okay, the universe had to separate you and someone else so that you could grow emotionally, develop your clairvoyance. Also, listen, start to listen to your intuition and trust your intuition. So there was no action. There was nothing going on between you and said individual um, because you both were in that healing phase. It was like a temporary separation. It wasn't over though. The phoenix rising. So it was like you had to burn something down and then to rebuild. Oh, so you had to change to rebuild. Then some of you, this could even be talking about you were, you were in some one-sided relationship with the narcissist. And if you weren't the narcissist, then you were allowing narcissistic, narcissistic behavior. And you also, you, you weren't, operating you know correctly like you weren't governing yourself accordingly like if you're met with a narcissistic paradigm you leave you don't try to combat it you try to fight it you don't try to you know i want to be better i'm gonna play the game better maybe some of you were like in that in the past and you let it go some of you met the one in the past but the both of you were not ready some of you are still in this one-sided relationship where somebody is just given just enough and they have a lot of different people that they are dealing with. There could be some player type of energy who's still hanging on to the idea of having this relationship with you, situationship with you, or this is you. They always they want to reconcile. Could be a cancer. It could be anybody. Um, what do we want to tell Aquarius? I feel like it's like two sets of you. The nine of wands, don't give up. Some of you are too busy looking at the past, especially if you are single. The star card, you need to heal. Chakra, alignment, release your emotions. Truly accept yourself. Back to not knowing yourself, therefore you couldn't give yourself. This reads like some of you were in some 
like escapade or affair. You don't know if you should go back. Yeah, somebody's married. This, you keep playing with fire. I don't know if you're still talking to, dealing with. But this, you know, I don't know. It just seems like there's nothing given here. And there's gonna be nothing gained. Yet four of pentacles, it's like, this is a stagnant, stuck, toxic relationship that can't go anywhere because somebody's already in some type of commitment. They make commitment, stability elsewhere. It's like you need the ace of swords, sever ties. You know that you're going to have to do the inevitable. Like you need to do it. I don't know if some of you are holding back from letting the idea of Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus coming up, Aries, to marry individual or somebody who already has someone or someone doesn't want to make a commitment to you. They want to put a cap on the relationship. This is how far we can go. This is what we can do together. We can hang out on the weekend and then I've got to go back home or I've got other people that I want to see or some of you are about to get true love or unconditional love. It could be with someone from the past. You get a lot of past cards and mitigating circumstances and trying to, the universe trying to, this could even be someone new. I don't know. Get a personal reading, but it, it reads as old. You know, old person, old love. What's happening in the near future for Aquarius? Wealthy man. Okay, occupation. Some of you are going to become the wealthy man, you are the wealthy man, or you'll meet a wealthy man, occupation, yeah, journeying, someone's coming back to you. Someone's like, you're expecting this message of concern, family room, you have found out some secret, maybe that somebody is married or that they want to come back towards you, or someone says something that sparks up maybe another an opportunity. Somebody was expecting you to reach out. Poverty and mature woman. Somebody wants you to hear them out because you left them out in the cold. Again, you can expect like an unexpected message coming to you. Yeah, that somebody wants to start up again. This was a, a tough situation, toil and labor. Maybe where somebody kept it as like sex only. Yep, with the lovers behind that. Some older gentlemen. And they were giving like petty, pesky offers to you. They want to get back in the sack with you fast. They're wondering about what you're doing and who you're with. Some of you, you're still dealing with that one-sided narcissistic paradigm there. You need to let it go. And, I mean, if you want to. You don't have to do anything. about the heart with the key it looks like a really solid union could be coming in for some of you because you've done the work because you really set yourself apart I'm feeling like the hermit energy like you just withdrew and started to heal and really drill down on you you're not perfect therefore the universe started to try to perfect something in you you have relationship dynamics parental care so maybe some of you went backwards it started to think about maybe um, how your relationship with your parents was affecting um, your romantic relationships thus far. The dynamic of the relationship is changing. Somebody is feeling different or something changed. This is why you're getting new love or you're getting an old love that's going to be renewed. One more card for heart with a key. Heart heart with a key. So somebody has the key they can unlock or this could be your person. This could be something like a twin flame, soulmate, relationship, you know, whatever you want to subscribe to. Windfall. Wow. It can be coming all of a sudden. Good luck, good energy, being in the right place at the right time. Um, allowing. So we talked about the empress there. The Empress is open. 
you can't receive a windfall. You can't receive anything if you're not open. If I'm closed, I don't. I can't receive, right? I'm closed up. I'm shut off. Some of you about to receive this because, like, you're doing something to bring in the love here. Wow, that's that's beautiful, Aquarius. Wow, gracefully aging. Yeah, you've gone through some some period. This talks about maturity too. You may even look young for your age, or, you, or you're doing some different type of beauty regimen, or whatever you're doing is. It's show what you're doing from the inside is showing up on the outside, okay, Aquarius. Um, you also have going through like figuring out shit. You ain't perfect, you know. Yeah, that person was maybe a liar, cheat, and all that stuff to you. But what did you do? What did you allow? Why were you enabling this? Why would you deal with this? Why didn't you listen to the signs or look at the writing on the wall or adhere to the red flags? And you went and fixed that, and you went and asked those questions of yourself, and now you're ready for it. Union, you're ready to meet the one. Wow, you forgave yourself. Forgiveness, and you're going to forgive this person. With the strength card, too, coming out. Forgiveness. This is absolutely beautiful for some of you. Some of you are, like I said, I feel like I'm talking to two different groups. Um, some of you are still dealing with the narcissistic paradigm. Somebody's, somebody's husband, honey. Um... So think about marriage and, you know, union. In today's age, marriage, union, it means very little in terms of um, uh, defining it, okay? You go get married, you get a marriage certificate, it is what it is, boom. But when we start to look at covenant and covenant and union, that's spiritual, that's a tie. That's more than just a physical. So when you're dealing with someone's wife or husband, knowingly, um, you're breaking a spiritual bond, tie, covenant with the Most High, if you believe in the Most High. Uh, so nothing but karmic or karma can befall you when you engage with somebody else's, um, or you engage in somebody else's covenant union, okay? Um, so. If you know that you're dealing with someone who is married, um, you might want to just come out of that, you know, just for your own, uh, your own karma, your own well-being, your own emotional and mental, spiritual um, well-being and ascension. You don't want to be a part of that, you know. Um, it's just you just don't want to be a part of that. Anyway, we've all made the mistake. Uh, don't beat yourself up about it. it is what it is start to withdraw just so you can get better you can receive better and know that it came into your life or this person um, came into your life to show you um, maybe to illuminate something about you okay and um, just take the lesson and move on all right queen of cups coming out again you had the queen of cups earlier the, I don't know, the, the innocent bystander, it's like listen to, listen to your your intuition. Understand that you are like, you have something to give to the world. Somebody could be seeing you as the perfect person to have on the side because you're open to the physicality of a relationship with your emotions and the very being of who you are is closed off. Mm. They see that you're a giver, you're loyal, you're stable, you're not going anywhere, but they don't have to give much to you. Some people, so in life, there's predator and prey. You have to choose which one you are. Some people are actually prowling, you know, the streets, if you will, looking for, pre for prey. Are you going to be somebody's prey? Because somebody is like taking advantage because it's one sided, the golden mirror, one sided relationship where somebody gives as little as possible, but they take and they, they, they draw from you as much as they can get. So, this looks like an Aquarius who needs to do the work, or maybe you were dealing with an Aquarius who's doing this to you, cross watcher. You need to like come out of this page of cups. Wow. So you get the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. Guess what? They came out together back here. 
Where is it? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. I, we had it, right? Lord. They came out together. Where are those damn cards? Look, I'm trying to hide now. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So they came out together. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. So it's like, it's like the universe screaming at you for like, um, somebody saw you as naive, open, beautiful. Um, I heard like time to waste. So man, I'm gonna look at you as if you have time or you have, yeah, you have time to waste. Cause this person could be older than you. So they're looking at you as like younger and you got time to waste. And they are wasting your time cause they're not going to reciprocate reciprocate or give you anything that you want. So they may just be looking at you as a conquest, something to conquer. Um, booty call, hidden relationship with the hangman, keeping you hanging in, hanging in there, holding on. Sad. Let's see. Um, they see you as loving, giving, open. They love that about you, and they're taking whatever you give, and they're giving very little back. All right, what else is happening? Yeah, barge, move forcefully or roughly. It's like this person, they might even be trying to come back in again, because it's like some off and on relationship. They might be trying to barge back into your life, force, force themselves with the magician card, doing whatever they need to do, saying whatever they need to say to get back in your good graces. Barging in. Let's see what else. Yeah, they want to make a page of wands. Um, this could talk about like um, like a makeup session, a whirlwind romance. They love like coming back in. You got all these pages here: page of pentacles, page of cups twice, page of wands now coming out. So what this indicates to me that there's been a lot of you know, like um, false starts. So a lot of makeup to break up. This person is kind of like whatever happens, happens, or whatever will become of this relationship becomes of this relationship. Uh, so we've got some years coming out. You could, and you can't really see that. You could be born in the year 1969, 1970, 71, 1981. Okay, 80, 81 is not on here, but 81 came out 1980. 1984, 1986, 1991, 1999, 2000, 2001. So that's what I got when I made this card. Those were significant for you. So somebody maybe around, I don't know, those years could be significant. The, the, um, this person just feels like they can put you on pause, right? And then show back up. With the magician and the emperor. Yeah, show back up. What else do we have for welcoming new love? Um, heart with the key. The people who did the work. Yeah, sorry. Um, wow, the king of cups. And we've got... The Temperance card, which is directly related to the King of Cups over here. Um, falling in love, dinner, romance, flights. Um, this is, oh, this is Knight of Cups. Sorry, Knight of Cups. So we've got an offer. We've got an offer. We've got somebody who wants you to fall in love with them again. And we talked about on this card, it says meeting the one, open heart, kisses, falling in love at the bottom, bottom of the deck. Wow, because this is what's happening for some of you. You're going to get this heart with the key. Right? You're going to get kisses because you healed your heart. And you came out of some toxic, codependent relationship where you were being charmed, girl with a snake, and some of you are still being charmed. Yep. Wow, can't make this up. You came out of being seduced. It's in reverse. None of these cards should be reversed. 
it's like somebody's seducing you. And then somebody's going to try to come back and seduce some of you. And because you're not allowing, like, you know, to be seduced by someone, Cupid's arrow. Wow. Love is coming. A surprise invitation with the Knight of Cups. Having faith. Having faith in love. Wow, because you, you chose healthy choices. You're about to get a date. That's what I'm talking about. A date because you chose healthy choices. You're getting back out there. You're going to set a date. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay? Uh, for some of you. Because you just, you've done the work. Let's see. Uh, what do we want to leave Aquarius with? 30 minutes in. There's some she-devil with triplets. Maybe you're giving this person, like, or this woman, like, more, three or more chances. She wants to reconcile, reunion. I don't think it wants to reconcile. She just wants to come back. Um, this is somebody who is manipulative. This is somebody who devised the plan against you. Some she-devil could have something to do with a baby also, or babies. This is somebody who was just, um, yeah, they were manipulative. This was a planned attack. Somebody could be after you for your money. Let's see what's happening here. Woo. What is darkest? Out of the dark comes the light. So maybe you're in a real dark place, Aquarius, and you come into the light. Um, someone is a drama chameleon. The King of Wands also, so this could have been somebody here who was trying to charm you. What they what they were doing, this is like love bombing, this is gaslighting. They were trying to act like they weren't drama, a drama chameleon, okay? Trying to act like it, they would put it on you, or they would try to act as if they aren't, or um, like they care, or they really want the relationship, or it's just you, you messed up things. This is somebody who thinks that they're handsome, um, you know, God's gift to women or men or whomever you date. This is someone who, um, it was always a dramatic situation with them. Ooh, they fed off your drama too. So back to some of you needing to learn how to govern yourself accordingly when you're dealing with dramatic people. When you would blow up, when you would, like, combust on them, they kind of, it, it, it got them going. You know, the raw passion um, to see that you get so upset by the shit that they do. And it was shit that they were doing to you. You may still be in this. Some of you need to come out of this. Let's get Aquarius some last cards of advice. We're going to get out of here. Advice for the Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. You're stronger than you know for some of you. You can move past this. You can heal. Self-employment. Um, employ a plan for self, right? Whatever this is, self-care, self-employment, self-improvement. Wow, can't make it up. Self-care came out behind this. It's like you've been projecting outwards and giving too much in hopes that you you receive it back. If I give this, if I love them, if I just love them enough, they'll eventually reciprocate. Some of you are coming into a new career, and it could be in, in regards to self-employment. It just says take the next step here. Okay, so I'm hearing like take the next step. The universe is behind you, especially for some of you who want to embark on a new career. So it's just like the universe is saying take all of this negative energy that was going on in love and transmute it to a positive and put it all into self. Self. And exercise something new in your life. Some of you need a new exercise regimen, routine, program. But you need to let something new happen for you in your life, Aquarius. Because dealing with the same people is getting the same results is insanity. You're driving yourself crazy. For some of you, you've done the work. You set yourself apart and you're about to get love. Just keep going and keep staying open. Keep your heart open. Yeah, there is somebody thinking about coming back towards you, but they're not offering anything. For you who've already done the work, I don't think you're even entertaining any, you know, narcissistic, uh, unhealed people. Um, and you can see it a mile away. And for some of you who are still in this, still in this type of energy, you need to be strong enough to say no and to sever the tie. Don't allow yourself to be seduced anymore. 
seducing spirits. Understand that you're a gift to the world, Aquarius, and you have something to offer. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Guess what? I am live tonight. Thursday night. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight, I will be answering your questions for free. All right, so come um, ask questions, okay? And let's commune together. Um, if you want to get your own personal reading just like this one, go over to the website, 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 and book there. You can book online. Use discount code 40 off, 40 off at checkout. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.